My name is Emily. So far, I've lived a pretty normal life. Normal family with a normal home in a normal place. My parents always told me I was special. I always figured they told me that because I'm adopted and they wanted me to feel better about it. How could I be special? I don't think my parents knew how right they would be. Let me explain. When I was six, I had a goldfish. It was my job to take care of him. But when my parents made me stop playing to go feed him, I would get mad. One day I got so mad that, for just a split second, I wish I didn't have him anymore. And then, he just vanished. Goldfish was wiped from existence. Gone forever. That's when I began to figure it all out. I can make things go away. I don't really understand how it works, just... If I think about something going away, it goes away. Sometimes I can't help it. When I get angry, it becomes hard to control my thoughts. I meditate a lot to stifle my emotions. I've been training myself not to let things bother me. It gets so exhausting because I can't tell anyone. I mean, who the hell would believe me? If I told anyone, they would just throw me in the loony bin. And that's not the kind of stress you want to put on a person in my position. It's kind of why I made my parents transfer me to online school. I just don't like being around that many people. It's too much pressure to keep my thoughts under control. Besides, I like being alone. My parents work during the day. In a way, it reminds me of my old goldfish. During the week, I'm in my own little bowl, all by myself. I feel so peaceful this way. I don't have to worry about myself so much. I don't know what I can do in the future. Most work settings I would likely be in are a bit too stressful or frustrating for me. My grades aren't the best. I average about a C minus. I don't know how that compares to most schools, but for this rich, suburban neighborhood, that makes me a staunch underachiever in their eyes. Maybe there shouldn't be a future for me. I've attempted twice, once by overdose. But fear made the pills vanish in my stomach. The next time I used a gun, but again, fear overcame me and the bullet disappeared from the chamber. It's not really that I'm depressed. I see plenty of reasons to live and there's lots of joy in the world. I want people to be happy, myself included. The problem is that even the smallest slip on my part can do immeasurable damage to others. I would go through a lot to make that stress go away. It just doesn't seem to work that way though. Seems like the only thing I can't make disappear is me. I understand now that whatever life I choose to live will just be about survival. There will be no goals reached, no landmarks made, no husband, no kids, no wondrous achievements, just making it by until my heart stops beating. Is this really living at all? Sacrificing so much of my happiness for the sake of others who shun me and look down upon me? They don't understand what I go through every minute. They're selfish. All of them. God. I wish they would just leave me alone. It will be easier this way. I'm just a goldfish, and this world is my bowl.